My name is Jack, and this is a tutorial for a tutorial, sorry, for a combination lock in Minecraft. Now, I've got an example over here, which is pretty amazing. Well, not pretty amazing, but you know. So, you come in here, and it's it's this is more of a tutorial for a secret base. But um, basically, when you come in, it's an open iron door, and then it's a closed one. So, I guess if I don't know, you could try to have this protected area. I don't know. But basically, you know, if you put in just, like, something random, you know, it won't work. But I know the code, so I'm going to do it. So, like this. That door opens. This one close, closes so that when no one's in, you can... I mean, um, so that when you're in, no one can get in. And you can get all your valuables. Then you just flick all the levers back. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Like that. And, yeah. So... Basically, we're going to build this, uh, let's see, this is my TNT cannon world, if you can tell. But, uh, let's see, um, you can do this inside a mountain, but uh, I'm feeling kind of lazy. And, well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling kind of lazy, I am lazy, so we're just going to put this over here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your spot where that door that um, first goes in, like the one over there, where it's always open. You're going to have that there. Um, then you're going to put a redstone torch there. Then you're going to dig it like this. Alright. Then, so that door is open. So what you do it from that is you would come around and you'd make your room. This is going to be a kind of small room. Because once again, like I said in the beginning, yeah, I'm lazy. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure everyone's lazy, but they just don't really tell people. But you know, I'm pretty open about my laziness. You know, I'm proud of it. Like my mom's like, "Get out of bed, Jack," and I'm and I'm just, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Pretty comfy. Um, sorry, bad reputations. I guess I guess that you kind of get a shout out in this video um for that but uh sorry I'm recording I'll I'll talk to you after. Okay, so going back around. All right. So now we're going to put in all our things. All right. So what we're going to do after that is for this door we are again going to dig down under it. And we're going to put our thing. We're going to do the same thing. Alright, and then behind here is where you choose it. So, I remember it was the back three. So, basically, you put a redstone torch behind the ones that you want to be it. So, let's say I wanted my code to be that. So, what we would do is we'd, if I can get around there, we'd put the ones, we put it like that. Now what we want to do is we want we want to have um, the redstone being powered. So basically, you want to have all of that this hooked up like this. And then for this one, you're gonna just put it like that, so that until they turn off those the ones that are correct, it'll the the door will always be closed. And then for this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over, you're gonna put a torch here, and you're gonna put redstone right there. So now it's open. So basically, you come in, you put in your code that I forgot. Uh, I think this was it. Nope. Um, yeah, let me just go take a look. Yeah, there. Okay, I got one of them right. <laughs> I always forget my codes whenever I make these. But then, you're through. Now, I would say this is pretty survival friendly. You just need a little cave or whatever. And then... Yeah, you're pretty good to go. You just need a little redstone, a little stone. But um, that is the end of this video because that's really all the time I have. And that's all you need to know about this. Uh, so there's someone who made this a kind of design like this before. I, I'm not sure if they thought of it, but I'll, I'm going to put their channel link in the description. 
because I kind of modified off theirs. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.